I've tried to put this into words so many times. I filled up countless pages with these thoughts, but I could never articulate them well enough. So let me try doing this like I'm telling my stories to an old friend. Alright, so I have my hojicha latte. So feel free to grab a drink or put it in the background when you're doing your chores or whatever it is you have to do right now because I'm gonna yap. Let me begin with an introduction. My name is Nadia and I have been living abroad for six and a half years. I'll start by sharing a passage from an unpublished blog post I wrote in 2018 about the truth of studying abroad. I have always wanted to study abroad. Just imagine. A life in a foreign country full of adventures with friends, finding little cafes, coffees, and local shops around the city, experiencing this newfound freedom. But the reality of my version of studying abroad is anything but exciting. It's boring, lonely, frustrating, and depressing. If you ask me what's the first thing that comes to mind when I think about living abroad, it's that it is lonely and scary and if you ask me if it's worth it moving from everything that is familiar to someone else's country i honestly can't say yes wholeheartedly not then and not now and maybe not ever i don't think i have ever shared this in my vlogs or answer really truthfully when people ask me why i moved to germany but the real and simple answer is because I hated home at the time. I hated the community I grew up in. I hated the rules, the closed-mindedness of the people. And as an angsty teenager with a set of busy parents, I didn't really have a good relationship with my family. And so I convinced myself that the world is working against me and I wanted a fresh new start somewhere else and I convinced myself that life had to be better somewhere else. So naive little me move, thinking that it will solve anything. But of course, the first lesson that I learned after moving to Germany is the fact that running away doesn't solve any of your problems. You're just gonna bring the same problems into another place. Because the problem is within you and you need to heal your insides first. The truth is, I got very lonely very quickly. I may have thought that I was lonely back home before I moved, but here it was a whole new level of loneliness. Everything was foreign. It's a whole new culture. I wasn't fluent at the language. The first month I spent here, I felt like I was blind deaf and mute because I just couldn't communicate. I actually came to Germany with my language school friends. So I think it was like 10 of us who came here to Germany and we lived in the same place. We were based in the same place for like three weeks before I got into uni in Berlin and moved permanently here. And none of my friends from back home was in Berlin. So I was truly by myself. But then, I just couldn't make friends. The first place I lived here in Berlin was at a house in Spandau with like four other Indonesians, but for some reason I just couldn't bond with them and never established any meaningful friendships. And it was the same at uni. There were Indonesian people and we kind of knew each other, but we never really connected as well. So I never established any meaningful friendships with Indonesians and with the language barrier, I never found the confidence to start a friendship with a German or even with another foreigner for some reason. At the end, I think I had only three to five people that I could call my actual friends and not just acquaintances, but I wouldn't say that they're really close friends because I never really found the comfort in confiding in them 
as I did with my junior high and high school friends back home. But that's a story for another time, my struggle with adult friendships. And so, my vision of living abroad, of girlhood, of sleepovers, visiting cute cafes and taking pictures in our cute little outfits, taking weekend trips to another city or another country, they never realized. They crashed and burned and I just find it so hard to open up. But there was actually some good that came out of this loneliness and it was the fact that somehow through the distance and the loneliness, my relationship with my family healed. Maybe it also comes with age, but as you get older, you just realize that your parents were also doing their best because it was their first time as parents as well. And I realized that I took a lot of things that they provided me for granted. And I wanted to move back home. The girl who couldn't wait to get away from home wanted to move back home. I honestly think that it's a cycle within me that I just always think that it's always better on the other side. But now I also realize that even when I move back home, there will be challenges. When you're alone in someone else's country, you need to learn the language, the local language, to get by, to live, to fit in. You need to learn the rules, you need to go through their bureaucracy on your own, you need to do everything on your own. But when you move abroad, you just have to be open, you have to be independent, and you have to accept the fact that you lose the privileges that you have back home and everything comfortable. I think the loneliness and the never-ending self-reliance are the two hardest things for me about living abroad. But of course, it's not all bad as I'm making it to be. Moving abroad opens up a whole new world of opportunities that I wouldn't be exposed to if I had just stayed home. The opportunity to travel easier, to meet new people with other backgrounds, to start my career here in Europe. And the simplest happiness is having the chance to experience the seasons changing. And that's why whenever it's fall and there's no outside, it's just so much more special to me because I wouldn't be able to experience this, to witness this, if I didn't move here. When you move abroad, you have all these new opportunities and it's up to you to make the best out of it. All in all, I think moving abroad, away from your comfort zone, is something life-changing and is going to shape who you are for years to come. It forces you to grow and will give you a whole new perspective of the world. But it's not always easy. It's certainly not for everyone. You have to be relentless because there will be challenges that you never thought you would face. There will be discrimination. There will be the language barrier. I think the key of moving abroad is just to have an open mind and the willingness to adapt. You have to know that the journey, it will not always be easy. But I think at the end, it will always be worth it. I mean, I said earlier in this video that I don't know if it's worth it or not, but it is just because I'm going through it at the moment. I think if I look back in 10 years, 20 years, by the time I move back home already, I think I will see that this chapter of my life abroad happens for a reason and shape me to be who I am then. Yeah, I think that sums up my yeah of the day. I hope this video speaks to you in some level. I don't know if you could relate to it. For the people who are planning to move abroad, I say just do it. Just jump in and experience it. Because whatever the outcome is, you're gonna learn something out of it. And for people who just started living abroad and maybe have the same feelings that I had, then I will tell you to just have the courage to open yourself up more. It's also something that I have to tell myself because 
is an advice that I need to take myself to be more open. It's really hard as an introvert. If you're an extrovert, it's really easy for you to make friends maybe, but as an introvert, it's hard. And if you've lived abroad longer than I have, then maybe you guys can write in the comments of how your, of your struggles and how you overcome it. And we could make this community and we could share our journey. Mm -hmm.